Hello, this is Jill from Baby Daisy Crafting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and today is a very momentous occasion. This is day one, number one, in my new series of card making for beginners. I did a series last year. Um, I did 40 episodes of a series of card making for beginners. And a lot of those videos, which are still on my channel, will still be really, really useful for you um, to have a look at and learn techniques and little tips and tricks and things. Um, but of course the products that I'm using in those videos may now have retired. Some of them won't have done. Some of them might have been carried over into our new catalogue, but some of them may have retired. And so I'm starting again this year. This is my series two card making for beginners. Um, so I'm starting again with a complete new um, series, hoping to attract some more beginners. I attracted loads of beginners last year. Hopefully they're all now well on to that, well on their card making journeys. Um, but they might find you useful tips and tricks as well in this series. But today, as number one, I'm going to do exactly what I did last year and do a walkthrough of the new catalogue. Um, so this catalogue, um, anyone who would like one can request one from me and I'll pop one in the post to you free. Um, it's loads and loads of pages. How many pages? 176 pages. Packed full of products. Um, but it can be a bit overwhelming if you're a new crafter and you don't quite know what you want and you don't quite understand what the, all things are. So I thought I'd just do a walkthrough and just do a little bit of explanation for you. So this is our annual catalogue, which runs from the beginning of May to the end of April next year, 2022. Um, it contains everything that you need for paper crafting and card making. So stamp sets, which is the bulk of the catalogue, but we've also got cardstock and glue and cutting machines and embossing machines, um, dies, punches, ribbons, loads and loads of stuff. The thing about stamping up products is that the coordination, they all coordinate really well. So if you're looking to make your crafting a lot easier, buying stamping up products does make it a lot easier because you will find you can buy a piece of ribbon, you can buy a ruler ribbon, you can buy some cardstock, you can buy some ink and it will all coordinate and it just takes out um, all that hit and miss of trying to find a specific colour of ribbon that matches the cardstock that you've got. So anyway, let's get started. This is the beautiful cover. It's um, This is the Expressions in Ink um, stamp set and it carries on on and here. Um, this is one of the sweets that's in the catalogue, which we'll come to later. Beautiful, beautiful colours. I love this sweet. It's really lovely. Um, so, um, and it says down here, take a sip. Now, S-I-P, SIP, stands for stamps, ink and paper. And when you're starting out, that's all you need. You need a stamp set, you need some ink and you need some cardstock or paper to do it on. And then you're ready to begin. You don't need loads and loads of other equipment. There's obviously lots of other stuff that you could have and a lot of people are tempted in to buy. Um, but that's the, it says here, that's the icing on the cake, as much as a little as you like. And it's that easy and it's a whole lot of fun. So yes, yeah, stamps, ink and paper would be my recommendations. If we turn over, I've got a little page here about the family that started, that runs Stampin' Up. They're an American family, started um, over 30 years ago, 33 years ago now, I think, by the Gardner family. This is Shelley, who was one of the founding members, and now her, her daughter, Sarah, who's there, runs the company. She's the CEO of the company. Um, so it's a very, very nice family business with very family orientated ethics. And they have a statement of the heart, which is written here to love what we do and share what we love as we help others enjoy creativity and worthwhile accomplishments. In this, we make a difference. And actually, that runs all the way through Stampin' Up! It is that we love sharing what we love, love sharing the crafting. And actually, it has made and this past year has been a really, really um, good illustration in how much crafting has helped a lot of people people while we've been in lockdown a lot of people have said how therapeutic they've found making cards and paper crafting anyway let's move on to our table of contents it's quite a brief table of contents here it's not very detailed it lists all the sweets that we have and a sweet is a combination of products that all go together to coordinate so you'll get a stamp set some dies or maybe a punch and maybe some embellishments maybe some ribbon maybe some patterned paper all go together to make a, a well a sweet basically um 
so yeah we've got 10 of those in the catalogue which I'll point out a couple to you um, you've then got from page 120 to 167 accessories paper ink tools everything else and then you've got a couple of pages about how you could um, earn some free products and or how you could join Stampin Up if you felt that was the right right for you um, and then it just tells you bundle stamps accelerate which pages to find them on but we'll come to all of that um, as we go through so some of the new in colors are featured on this page in colors are the colors that are introduced every we have new five new colors every year and they last for two years so every year one lot of in colors retires and we introduce another and this year's collection of colors are pale papaya fresh freesia polished pink soft succulent and evening evergreen beautiful colors beautiful colors all right we move on to the next page and it just is it gives you a little um description of the stamps that we sell we sell two types of stamp we sell red rubber stamps i've got one mounted up here which is they're called cling stamps because they cling really easily to the blocks now you can add I wonder if I've got one here. Yes, I've got one. You can add stickers, which make them even more sticky. So this, this one I've added the sticker to, and it does make them really cling to the stamps blocks. I tend not to add my stickers because I find they cling well enough without the stickers, but actually you can, you can add them if you like. And these are red rubber, and they're really known for giving you a really, really lovely crisp image, really lovely detailed images. Um, but we also sell photopolymer stamps and I've got another one here um, and these are made of photopolymer obviously and they're absolutely clear so if you're wanting to place something carefully you can see again these cling really well to our clear blocks um, so you need you will need clear blocks to mount your stamps to or just one clear block when you're starting out um, but these are great for placement so this is a I don't know how well you can see that's a cocktail glass with a little umbrella and a lemon slice and then there are other stamps that I can add where I can fill in with color the umbrella and the lemon slice and the inside of the cocktail so I need to be able to be able to see where I'm placing those and so a clear stamp is really good so those are our two types of stamp good both good for different reasons um, so you might want to think about which one you prefer not that all the stamps come in either or they don't come in both so you have to if you like a stamp set you have to have it in the the format that it's provided and then just want to point out these little icons down here they've put them in here in grey which is not terribly helpful because they're in colour in the catalogue so in the cut in the catalogue there are if there's a new stamp set let me see oh here yes this one you get a little pink n um, and it will tell you it's a new product so it's not been in a catalogue before that's a new product then you get um, our reversibles this little image with two flowers on means reversibles and I'll talk about that more when we come to it this one is distinctive and they they are really detailed stamps that give a really really detailed image which makes it look like you've done a lot you've stamped lots of times and made lots of details but actually it's just one stamp one pass this little clock means if you see one of that by a project it means it's a very quick and easy project so it's great for a beginner or great if you want to produce loads and loads if you're you know like me I send out customer thank you cards I need something fairly quick and easy otherwise I'm going to be there all month making customer thank you cards and then we get we've got some um, little boxes to tell you what languages the stamp sets come in because we as well as being in the UK we sell in other European markets in France Germany the Netherlands and Austria and so it tells you whether it comes in French German or in Dutch this is all our colors on here I don't know why they didn't label them with what colors they are but it's really pretty and you can see the spectrum of color that we have in our catalog which is lovely and like I say for each of these colors you will be able to get patterned paper ribbons embellishments pens inks loads of stuff cardstock loads of stuff that match which makes it very easy let's turn over and this is this page to, oh, talks about perfectly coordinated our expert coordination in color imagery and design ensures beautiful results and takes the guesswork out of crafting so it does mean that you can put things together um, really easily and they will look fab um, so yeah loads of coordination I think that's the the key word for stamping up is coordination 
Right, now we've got a couple of pages here which are a bit different to pre um, previous catalogues. These are the kits. Now, they're not going to have kits in the catalogue anymore. What's going to happen is any kits that are available are going to be on the website. So in my online shop, you can go and search for kits and you will see the ones that are available. And as soon as they sell out, they'll come offline so you won't be able to get them anymore. So they're going to be kind of coming and going as and when they're in stock and when they're not in stock. Um, we were sent a pre-order list the other week and there are 10 different kits in there. Some of them quite, I've ordered one of them, which I'll be showing you quite soon, as soon as it arrives. Um, but I thought that's quite a nice idea, actually. So they've got a lot of vers um, variety. And if you fancy a kit, and they're slightly sli slightly um, lower price point than some of our previous kits. And in some of them, you get a stamp set. So you get a stamp set and a stamp block and a stamp pad um, which is really good value and then you usually get enough to make I think nine cards in a lot of them um, so so really good value for money and really quick and what I like about kits is what I tend to do is I buy a kit so that I've got something to grab to take on holiday with me so if we're going away anywhere I just take a kit and then I know all I need is scissors and glue and I've got everything I need in the kit to make up the cards and I can spend a nice rainy afternoon or whatever when we're on holiday just doing a bit of crafting so it's really easy. Right, and then we're into the first of our suites. I'm not going to go through every page of the catalogue. Don't worry, we'd be here for hours. I'm just going to point out some key details. So this is one of our suites. It's called Beauty of the Earth, and obviously it's tree-based and leaves. Um, and in this suite, it includes a photopolymer stamp set, some dies... This lovely patterned paper, which we call designer series paper at Stampin' Up, but I tend to call it patterned paper because otherwise non-Stampin' Up pe people don't know what I mean. Um, and an embossing folder, it's a bark embossing folder, which I can't, oh, here it is, um, there, which embosses like bark of a tree. So those are the products in the suite. If you wanted to uh, order all of it, there's one order number. So this is the product number, this six-figure number. This is the price in euros. This is the price you need if you're in the UK. So for all of those bits and pieces, it would be 67.50. But you can buy each of them separately. If you buy the stamp set and the dies, you will see this 10% bundle safe savings any new bundles in this catalogue or any new stamp sets with coordinating dies will get 10% off so instead of paying 53 pounds for the stamp set and the dies you would get it for 47 pound 50 and it tells you that it's beauty of friendship stamp set and the beautiful trees dies and it gives you a reference where you can see the dies in more detail page 158 and it tells you here exactly what you're getting 13 photopolymer stamps it suggests which size clear blocks you might need it tells you it's a two-step stamp set we'll be covering the two-step um, technique later in the course which means you stamp and then you stamp over the image again and it coordinates with the beautiful trees dies so that's all the information that they've given you here and then you can see sometimes there's a little pin here um, and and it's just an, an idea for you to you know so that you might pin that somewhere a little idea of how to use them and of course there's always all these gorgeous samples to inspire you the other thing is we get these little strips of color which tells you which colors are in this suite so the designer series paper these are the colors that are featured in that paper so it's really easy to say so say to see so to say you've got, you've already got some bumblebee and some old olive cardstock you could buy that designer series paper and know that you're going to have cardstock or maybe ink or whatever you've got to match so that makes it really easy as well oh and yeah these little signs here english french and german so this set comes in english french and german so i would say if you're ordering from my shop do make sure you use the right product code and just check that you are ordering it in english because you don't want it in well presumably you don't want it in french right okay um now the other thing that i didn't point out on that page i'm going to point out here can you see i don't know how well you can see um at the moment but some of these these images are in a slightly different color it's not very easy to see they've done them in darker colors in pre previous years but they are in sort of a very pale very vanilla and that means that those images can be cut out with the dyes um, that coordinate so you can see some of the in some of these images those images have been cut out with the dyes so if you see some that are outlined like I say, it's very, very subtle this year. They've they've done them in grey before, which has been slightly easier to see. But um, that's that's what what they're doing there. You can see here we've got distinctive. So this is one of the ones. So you can stamp this, and you'll get all these different shades just by doing one stamp. 
um, which is great. Um, I was going to point out something else then as well. Coordinates with floral gallery dies. Then this is not a bundle set because it was bundled in a catalogue before. So they're no longer bundled. So you don't get your 10% saving on these ones. And up here, we've got simplify or step it up. So they've given us examples of three cards which go from very, very simple, slightly more stepped up and then even more stepped up. So it gives you samples like that all the way through to help you. Um, help you think about what you might like to do with the products. The other thing is this little icon here, this little heart in a shopping basket, just tells you if there's any additional products that they've included in the samples that aren't featured on this page, it will tell you about them here. So on page 163, we can find the layering diorama dies. If I go to one pa page 163, there they are there, the layering diorama um, dies, which is what they've used to do this like little hole in the card there. Right, have we covered everything that I needed to say in this part of the catalogue? I think maybe we have. Again, in very vanilla, the ones that are cut out with dyes. Um, and again, beautiful, beautiful samples. Um, so, you know, you don't actually need any inspiration because you could just go buy, buy a set and go through the catalogue and make what they've made. Ah, reversibles. Did say I'd talk more about these. Now, these are photopolymer um, stamps which stamp really nice detailed images, you can see. But what you can do with these stamps is you can then turn them over, put them the other way on your block and get like a solid image so that you can colour in the whole of that image with one block and you can do like an outline, a, a shadow behind. Really, really effective. Um, yeah, really good idea. And these, and you can see this, there's the little two flowers. Um, two flowers re meaning reversible so that's what that little icon means and again you've got here the colours that they've used in their samples here just to give you a, an idea of the colours that are going together there and again another new thing 10% off which tells you that you can get a saving by buying those products together some shopping baskets where they've used other products little pinned so that you can pin that idea um, so yeah, so all the way through up to page 120 are our stamp sets and I think I've covered, um, it does say, it will say, just go back, um, this one, two step. So if it's a two step stamp set, like I say, where you stamp and then you stamp again, um, it will tell you that it's a two step stamp set. Um, but loads and loads of lovely sets here. So you can have a look, you can be, you can buy the sets that you like to look with, or you can buy a set because you've been inspired by a sample, or you can take advice from your demonstrator about what might be a good, good idea to buy. Um, lots of ideas there. Right, okay, so I'm gonna to go to page, I'm gonna scoot through to page 120. Oh no, I'm gonna just do this page before I do. Um, so this is the last of the stamp sets. And then we've just got this page, which is our background stamps. Now these are actually, most of the, the images in here are shown at, um, oh, I want to do that as well, Christmas, I'll come back to that. Um, most of the images in here are shown at full, full size, but the background stamps aren't. These background stamps, fit one of our big blocks, so about A6 size. Um, so these are only shown at 35% of um, their actual size. This, this little circle shows what they actually look like. And these are called background stamps, so you can stamp a whole sheet, whole card blank, with just one of these, these stamps. Um, so they're a really good idea. You can do so much with background stamps. They measure four and a half inches by five and three quarters to cover the complete background of a card and help you create quick multiples. Use them with the Stamparatus and we'll talk about the Stamparatus in a minute. And then what I just wanted to do was go back to page 88, which is our Christmas section. So we've got a very small Christmas section in this catalogue, but we have a whole new Christmas catalogue coming out in August. So although there's not many designs in here, there are a few. This is a new set, not seen this before, really nice, quite like that. Loving some of these sentiments and these images, really nice, love these stockings. Um, and then most of the others are stamp sets that were in the previous catalogue. Um, Snowflake Wishes, that's a new one. Festive Foliage, that's a background stamp again, so that's shown much smaller than it would be. 
Um, yeah, the evergreen elegance, the snowmen, the ponsettias, the, the trees. So all of those, that's another new set though, that's not in the catalogue. Um, and I think that is meant to be Christmassy, although it's not ever so Christmassy, I don't think. Um, so yeah, so a small Christmas section, um, just a couple of little Christmassy things in that set as well. But there'll be a whole other catalogue out. Um, so let's go back to page 120. And here is where we start doing things other than stamp sets. And I love, love, love this page with all the colours, all the butterflies. I just think that's absolutely great. I love a rainbow. I, you know, it's one of my things. Right, I'm just going to go back to this page, which talks about our angel policy. Just to say, if you were ever thinking about selling your products that you make, um, Stampin' Up's angel policy is that you can sell anything that you use, that you, you make using our products. But if you're making them to sell, you should really use copyright Stampin' Up little stamp on them somewhere. So you can see here, they've stamped on the back. They've used that little image and then they've stamped at copyright Stampin' Up behind. So it's in this stamp set. Um, I think this is the only one in this catalogue that, um, that you can buy. Um, but... Um, they usually every catalogue there's one of those sets with um, the copyright stamp in it okay so now we're on to um, all the other products that you might need so this is our colour collections page which features our colour collection family so we've got a selection of bright colours neutral colours regal colours subtle colours and our basic colours and then here's our in colours which these are the new ones for this year these two years and these are the ones that came out last year so which will retire next year and in each of those you can buy cardstock you can buy stamp pads you can buy refills for the stamp pads refill inks and for most of them you can buy blends there are a few colours where we don't have blends but for most of them you can buy blends um, so you can build up your selection. They, our blends are alcohol markers, so they the colours blend together really well. You may have seen me using on some of my videos. Right, so that's all of that. Um, we've then got storage. So if you want some way to keep your desk nice and tidy, our storage is great because it fits all our pro products perfectly. And these are great. These came out in the last catalogue, which is card display. So you can use them to display some of your works of art. Just put that up on the wall and it's a really nice way to display things now on this page if you wanted to buy assortment so if you don't want to buy a single pack of cardstock you can buy combinations so you can buy a brights pack a neutrals pack a regals pack a subtle pack or you can buy the in color pack so you get all the colors from those families in one pack so it's a slightly cheaper way to get more colors in your select in your um, collection and if you buy um the stamp pads as a collection you get 10 percent off so instead of paying 70 pounds for 10 stamp sets you'd pay 63 which i know is a lot of money but it is does help when you get them slightly different slightly cheaper um stamping right markers so those are our those are not alcohol markers those are just normal felt tip pens um and this year we've got some pastels and i haven't got any yet so i don't know what they're like so i can't tell you anything about them but i we, i do have our watercolor pencils and they're great and i do have a pack of our markers and i do use those a lot as well then we've got memories and more not i'm not a huge fan of memories and more but a lot of people are can be used to make up albums really nice albums to keep to journal your photographs um, and also some cards which can actually be used um, to make cards little, little single single layer cards that can be layered onto cards um got a sort of tools and inks specialist specialist inks and specialist tools all on here um lots and lots of different things which we'll be working through in my series so that you should know how to use them all by the end of it these are the pages that show our designer series paper i never think it's shown off well enough in any of the catalogues it's always more beautiful than it looks when you actually receive it but it does give you an idea um, and they're all new they we generally don't carry on i think there's one set it's just that set that's carried over all the others are new and absolutely lovely love this christmas paper i'm gonna have to get a pack of that and this is is beautiful i've got a pack of this already absolutely absolutely beautiful foiling on there um yep and then some we've got packs of family family packs of dsp so you get sheets that are just one color absolutely lovely love these 
um, and then some speciality papers. We've got vellums, we've got glim, rainbow glimmer, we've got um, rose gold and gold, some acetate, lots and lots of speciality papers. Envelopes, window sheets, all sorts of basic things, packaging, boxes and bags. If you want, if you're into making handmade chocolates, there'll be something here that you could use to package them in. Um, ribbons and of course they all coordinate with all our other products so and again a lot of new products in here and then some embellishments that again all coordinate with our product suites and bundles um, loads and loads of different colors but they they coordinate with our color scheme um, and then we're nearly there stamperate this is our stamperators page it's not an awful lot of information about the stamperators on here it's here this is the tool um, like I say I'll be doing a video on how we could use it you can see here that they've used it to place these words right next to each other by using the hinge technique because it ours is hinged so you can move it along and get really perfect placement it's a stamp positioning tool basically if you were wondering these are our clear blocks. You can save 10% by buying a whole selection of them or you can buy them singly. Um, they're great. They're really nice. They're thicker than most stack blocks and they've got this indent which makes it really easy to cling onto them. Lovely curved corners. They really are a, a design triumph, I think. They're really so much nicer than any other clear blocks I've ever used. Um, so worth investing. You only need one though. If you bought a decent size one, which is, what's this, a D? If you bought a D block, that probably would see you you can mount most of your stamps on a D block, I would say. And two ways to clean. Um, we've got a stamping scrub and we've got a, a chamois. And again, I did have a video in the last series, but I might revisit that this series as well, just so that just for the sake of completion. And we're nearly there. The back here we've got all the bundles. We've got stamp sets that are bundled with punches. So the grey shows the punch, what the punch stamps out. And these, you'll, they'll refer you back to the page where you can see the stamp set that they coordinate with. But of course, some more lovely examples. I love this little, well, it's called a turtle. I think it's a tortoise. It's called Turtle Friends, but I think it's Tortoise, but anyway. Um, but lovely, lovely punches. I love a punch. And one of the things that Stampin' Up! does really well is a punch and a coordinating punch at that. Um, so, yeah. And then cutting tools we've got. We've got, our, of course, our infamous trimmer, which is one of the best on the market. Um, we've got our scoreboard. We've got lots of other bits and pieces there. Snips, our, our scissors. And then our cut and emboss machines. We've got a big machine which will cut any of the dies in our catalogue. We've got this little mini machine, which will cut some of the dies, but not all of them. When we come onto the dies page, so on this page, you can see wherever there's a mini sign, those embossing folders will go through our mini machine. The others will need the bigger machine or your big shot or whatever you've been using. Um, and lovely new um, embossing folders here. Going to have to get my hands on some of those. And then the dies bundles. And again, you can see they're marked with the mini. If they will go, all go through the mini, then they're marked. If they're too big, if some of them are too big, then that one's not marked with the mini. Um, but of course, all the way through, you've got these lovely samples to inspire you. And so there, here you can see the die sets. So where the die sets were referenced earlier with the stamp sets here, you can see in more detail what's in the die sets, what you're going to get loads and loads you can see they've really expanded their range over the last few years and this year we've got some standalone dies so this set doesn't have a stamp set to go with it so it's just these dies um that one that doesn't have a specific stamp set although it went with the fish set at the beginning there we've got some borders here um stitch greenery um this one picture this which cuts out these apertures so you can make shaker cards and things um, so yeah, some different things in there. And then adhesives. Um, one thing you might not know is as um, Stamping Up demos, we're, allowed, we're not allowed to keep stock of most things. We have to order it direct from Stamping Up as customers order it. But we are allowed to keep stocks of glue. So if there's any adhesives or things you want and you don't want to pay the 4 95 postage, always ask me if I've got any in stock because I can send it direct to you. And the most the postage will be is £3, depending on what you order. I think Tombow would have to go at £3 and the seal because they have to go as a small parcel. But most things can go 
uh, just as a just as a large letter which is a lot cheaper so just bear that in mind and then it talks about joining stamping up if that's something you've ever thought about i'd be very happy to have a chat with you if you've ever thought about joining there's a really good offer on at the moment until the end of may which means that you get 154 pounds worth of product for just 99 pounds so that's a really good offer and then it tells us about what you can earn by either placing a really big personal order or by gathering some orders from your friends or whatever. Um, so if you spend £150, if you have sales, you get 10% back um, as, as free. So you can spend £15, you get £15 to spend on product for free. You can buy any of these stamp sets with your rewards as well. We can't buy these normally. You have to have placed a big order and earned stamping rewards to be able to buy any of these products. Um, if you while during May and I think slightly into June, um, you can earn an extra twenty pounds. If you spend over two hundred pounds, then you get an extra twenty pounds. So if you spent two hundred pounds on an order, you'd get forty pounds to spend free on a prod on product. So that's really worth thinking about. If you think you might be placing two or three smaller orders, it might be worth amalgamating them together. Um, and that's it. There's your index of stamp sets. So if you know what it's called, you can look in the back. And there's the accessories index. And that is our whistle stop tour through the catalogue. So I hope you might have found that quite useful. That's my first video done in series two of Card Making for Beginners. But I'll be back with lots more information, lots more tips and tricks and lots of beginner projects as the weeks go by. So do join me for them. If you haven't already, just press subscribe and you won't miss any of my videos. You, you'll be able to see all my videos. And if you press the bell, you'll get a notification whenever I post as well. Thanks very much for joining me today. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll be back with you again soon. Bye bye.